back foot, you know, eventually, I mean, especially with the body work, oh. he's with that one. You know, Mike Tyson's supposed to be in attendance. He must be at this fight's important for both men for different reasons. Rodriguez. That one goes and has. Ooh. Rodriguez backed up. Good counter shot. Yeah, I just heard Romero as well. Oh, but here comes Romero. He's got great combinations, and he makes every, every punch count. Getting the more eye-catching shots in this round thus far. Ground. We'll see if he can. Oh, yeah. Wow, he almost yeah, stood. Because he, you know, that's the only gear he knows. Going forward. Power, and he showed it in this round. Straight left hand. That was a setup. Uppercut, right uppercut. And Rodriguez struggled with the height of Sims. He may feel his biological a boxing clock ticking a little. Emma Hailing from Via del Carbon, Mexico. Romero. His record stands at 11 wins, one loss, and one draw. Rodriguez. It's going to be a legal shot. Touch him up, scoot back. World. The bell and round one. Ten of his 11 wins have come inside the distance for Rodriguez. Nice left straight to the breadbasket bomb knockouts. Last one came in December of 2018. Come up with next. <laughs> Unprecedented. <laughs> Rodriguez talked about the mistakes he made against Sims. Shoring up his defense and being more agile. Southpaw splitting the guard with the left down the middle. Nice hard. Romero there, he's going to be hyper aggressive and he is going to get the win. Nice counter right hand by Rodriguez. And that was the... Yeah, that's Romero trying to take the jab away from Rodriguez. There was a punch right after that, so, you know, it gave him the opportunity to land. Right, the KO ratio that he's got, he could be too defensive sometimes, you know. Right hand followed by left hook, and Romero working the body. Matter what? The what? In the three minutes to get our action underway on Rodriguez, and Romero putting on the pressure, and... Expect to see Romero continue, as Abner said, with those... Exhibited by Rodriguez, avoiding that combination by Romero. uses his jab, it sets up his power shots. We saw. Now, Rodriguez does not fight well going backwards. Bell, round two, Romero receiving and getting the more eye-catching shots in this round thus far. You'll be good. You gotta be more defense, more offensive than defensive. Use it. That deserves a mama. This fight's important for both men for different reasons. Rodriguez. Bringing the fight to Elvis Rodriguez here in the this, and, but he's timid sometimes. He won't let go of his hands at Romero here and there. But Romero, Romero's just busy. Now the, the point is, come back win at Romero 31. Now to make a statement to show jabs, but you know when he does land those combinations, he stays put. Rodriguez with a sharp left hand and looking a lot. <laughs> Great story. <laughs> and Romero working the body of Rodriguez and has Rodriguez backed up. Good counter shot. But you're right, Al. He's yeah. an all-action fighter and bringing the pressure. Guess up. Rodriguez along the ropes trying to escape with a right hook. Had his moments in round two. Started off strong. Has had some. Well, Rodriguez, of course, getting instructions from Freddie Roach. Mentioned Freddie Roach has been Rodriguez's trainer his whole crew. By Rodriguez. And he, he, Rodriguez will make Romero miss. <laughs> a lot of those punches blocked. There's a right yeah. uppercut on the inside by See him, Rodriguez always on that back foot. Always on that back foot. And, and gets pressure. counter attacks and some great footwork. And a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. Delivering some offense of his own. Nice left hand over the top. Of course, Rodriguez is a good power puncher. 11 knockouts. So we'll see if he can hurt Romero. He can do something in this division. Uh, Romero committed on second stanza. <laughs> Doesn't work well for him. He's had some good countering opportunities, but you're going to see an uppercut by Rodriguez. Impressed with his offense to the box. Experience going 10 rounds twice. And as you point out, Rodriguez. So far, a good wow. round for You know, they're very committed to this fight yeah. for a couple of different reasons. Point of the third, Rodriguez trying to work the jab and then lunges in. Going to sign Romero. I saw him out coming out the Olympics. I guess. Puts up really good pressure, good combination. Works the body really good. Exactly, and if this fight goes the distance, you know, for the rounds, Romero. To a 10-round fight for the first time in his career. 
Never. So that's something we have to look for as we get to those later. Rodriguez doing a good job. Three punch combination. Mm -hmm. Romero's right hook curling behind the guard, but good counter work by Romero. Wow, nice right hook, right uppercut. Deep for the uh, first time since he faced Sergio Torres. Hook. And Romero digging away to the body you wanted for your <laughs> No moss. <laughs> He's placing his punches, diversifying his attack, but Rodriguez is doing that. Yeah, they're actually, yeah, and Rodriguez as well, especially with the right hook. Starts really well. He started the last round really good. Ooh, good hook. As well, and boy, both of them looking to be body snatchers by Rodriguez. And there is a really good back and forth going. Listen to me. He's waiting for you. When he, this is where you have to apply it now. So be alive. Be alive. Round number four. Fair to say that the pace so far. Round. We'll see if he can. Oh, he, wow! He almost yeah. stood around. He's got great combinations, and he makes every every punch count. He's trying very hard to make a statement. Oh, and boy, those uppercuts. Yes. Are that left nobody that just heard Romero as well. Oh, but here comes Romero. But we're finding out in this round that's not necessarily true. Romero throwing a lot this round, but honestly not being effective. It's been a fantastic fourth round for him. Double right. Because he, he, you know, that's the only gear he knows going forward. But that yeah. uppercut. Well, Rodriguez has a good They both have good uppercuts, but different, so. Um, oh, nice three-punch combo there by Rodriguez. Ain't no party like an uppercut party, because an uppercut party don't stop. The temptation is to think Rodriguez needs room to be effective. He's not a fleet of foot fighter, so right now he just can't. Being the one that's always on his back foot, you know, eventually, I mean, especially with the body work. Oh, in terms of the accuracy and the connect, Sal, they're, they're pretty close. With that one. You know, Mike Tyson's supposed to be in attendance. He must be in. He's more effective when he's offensive, Rodriguez. Center of the ring. Mm -hmm. And not avoiding it, and there again. That, that in his head hurt. Oh, and he just staggered him. Brown sends him to the canvas for the first time. And it's either. And when they are really close, Rodriguez with the sharp shot. My goodness, toe to toe in this to the body. Romero fires back with a combination. That's it. That's that's the worst of it. That's the worst. That was a good. This is round five. Rodriguez immediately. Rodriguez. Yeah, and it has seemed like Rodriguez uh, is already comfortable. Going down in round four. Came. Rodriguez, you know, he fought five times in 2000. Keep to one favor, just to let you know. He was, but you know what? That's because he's throwing punches, but missing most. Oh, beautifully played. Now, and is that jab from Rodriguez as well? It seems like he's got a bigger position to really throw those body punches the way he wants. And six changes on the inside, and a variety of trying to establish the jab, the high guard of Romero. Romero's still. Him, especially coming off that loss to Sims. And in the way. Again, Romero really trying. I mean, he's trying. Make a miss, make him pay as a wise. A few wise men, a high guard of Rodriguez, but Rodriguez, oh, and the counter shot. Then he Left hook. Romero is, he is not by trade a boxer, does not use a lot of. Well, a guy who looks rejuvenated right now in Elvis Rodriguez. And uh, he showed that. Right? Point ball. This is not one dimensional by either fighter. The good left hook. That might be the best left hook he's thrown in this fight. Man, an easy fight. No, Kenneth Sims is a good fighter. Rodriguez was a trade by Rodriguez. But you're right, Romero standing in the pocket on Pablo Romero trying to. Oh, it gets dropped! Popped, dropped, and stuck. Often with the right hook or the straight left. This, you felt at some point he might be able to get up, no. but he it, just wasn't. It, it was a way he'd land yeah. so many of those, and then the straight left hand. A nice short you were going to get that in. 47% of your power punches is excellent. And number five, a referee in charge reaches the count of 10. Let's uh, bring in our unofficial scorer, Steve Farhood. 38-37 for Rodriguez after four rounds.